Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Trojan Horse from Stephen Himmel. What is it? Uh, Trojan Horse is a card utility that allows you to magically vanish or magically produce a card from a tiny card packet. If you'd like to see what it looks like, this is it. You got your two. Okay. Here. Watch the two. Goes into the jokers. I'll turn it towards you so you can see it a little bit better. One, two, three. How is this happening? This is a new utility gimmick that can be used for many different effects. Just say stop whenever you like. Stop. Remember that card. Does everybody see it? Yes. Watch. We'll leave that right in the center. Just like that. Oh, wait a second. It's one too many cards. These are the jokers, right? Well, here, I want, I want you to watch the space in between the jokers. Watch. Watch the space in between the jokers. <laughs> So look, we've got the jokers, right? And your money card. Let's see if we can print some money. Stick my money, makers! Can you sign your name on the face of that card? And take one last look, don't forget the card. Got it? Here we go. You can see it sticking out. Do not a shuffle. You shuffle the deck, right? You square the card up, cards up, you shuffle. Now these jokers have been sitting here the entire time, right? And remember, I placed a mystery card between them. Which actually is weird because it has your name right there. He was able to pull it out between the two jokers, which was insane because it had been in the deck the whole time. So, blew my mind. So let's saddle up. Here's the Trojan horse. All right, so that was Stephen Himmel. Uh, you might remember he did Force Thought, he did Recard Monty. Uh, this was published by the good people down at Murphy's Magic, and they supplied this for me to review, and so I want to thank them uh, for all their support and for uh, just the privilege that it is to be able to review some tricks for them. Uh, so, a couple of questions we always ask about all of our Magic products, the first of which is, what is in the box? All right, so what's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a couple of things. You're gonna get the DVD, okay? The DVD's 48 minutes long and you're gonna get the gimmick already completely 100% built for you, and that's awesome. Is it what I thought? It is, actually. <laughs> when I first watched the trailer, I thought, oh, this is how I would do it, and this is how they do it. Uh, and the only reason that I was tipped off to maybe its possibility uh, is actually, I did a review for another effect a few months ago that has a similar look, and the gimmick, uh, although not exactly identical, used the same technology. And so I was already familiar with the method, and I kind of figured that's how it would be, especially with a name like Trojan Horse. Uh, the name almost even gives it away. But I was still happy, and I wasn't disappointed with it at all. How are the angles? The angles are really good, but you can't do it surrounded, okay? It, you just can't do it surrounded, but it, they're still really, really, really good. Uh, you could do it for walk around, you could do it for table hopping, uh, any sort of setting like that uh, where you have a group of people. Probably works the best if people are seated, uh, but again, the angles are still really strong. Can it be inspected? No, it can't be inspected. Uh, you pretty much use a, a joker or two jokers through all of your tricks. All right, and I'll actually show you, this This is the gimmick right here. Okay, this is the gimmick. I'm showing it to you live. This is what it looks like, woo! All right, and, and so, uh, just when people are kind of grabby for cards, you know, they might want to grab this, and I would just say, you know, you just have to use this probably as an opener or as a closer. I would probably use this as an opener. It'd be a great way to start a routine. Uh, and then you quickly put your little packet of cards away, pull out a whole deck of cards, and immediately go into something else. I think that would be the best way to handle audience management. 
All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? It's shot in HD, you got multiple angles, uh, great settings, great environments, good quality teaching, uh, easily navigatable menus, it's a great DVD. All right, so is the gimmick itself well made? It is well made, all right, and they do cover how to build another one for yourself. So if you already have some designer decks or some decks that you like, you could easily build this and use it with any deck of cards, okay? I will say that the gimmick is not difficult to make, nor is it like blow you away genius. You're not gonna be like, whoa, I never would have thought of that. I mean, it could backfire on you. Let me just say, you could open this up after watching this review and thinking, oh, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. You open it up and then you see the gimmick and you're like, oh, that's it. There could be that for you. I want to pause you and keep you from feeling like that before you make up your mind about it, watch the DVD all the way through. Watch the DVD all, all the way through, watch the effects that you can do with this, and watch the reaction of the people that watch the magic, and then make up your mind, okay? Don't throw this away because you think the gimmick looks too simple. There are a lot of powerful magic effects that use very simple methods. Magic doesn't have to be complicated to be awesome. Magic tricks don't have to have a million slides and show off all your prowess just to be a cool trick. Not every trick needs to be a magician fooler, all right? And so I, I, and I was a victim of this. I opened it up and I thought, oh, it's that. But let me tell you, you watch the DVD and the DVD will convince you. The DVD will convince you that this is still strong and this is still powerful magic. How much practice does it require? Not much. Uh, once you start feeling your way around the gimmick and you watch the tricks that are provided on this, uh, it won't take you long at all, especially if you're already familiar with handling a deck of cards. How much setup and reset is there? There is zero. Uh, you basically put your cards back in the tuck box and you're good to go. The gimmick itself will actually fit into your tuck box seamlessly. And so, yeah, there's no setup, no reset. What are the positives to the Trojan Horse? Well, it looks very clean, okay? Because it is. It is very clean. No dirty work, no knackiness. It's a very clean effect. It allows you to do slightless miracles for cheap, okay? A lot of these style effects, so the tricks in here, I've seen other magicians do, but they do with a lot of experience and they do with a lot of um, practice, okay? There's a lot of slights involved to do a trick like this. This would allow you to do those same effects, slightless and uh, easy. And so I think uh, that is awesome and I think you're getting four really good, solid routines on here. A lot of good positives with the Trojan Horse. All right, negatives. Negatives for the Trojan Horse. So these would be just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Like I said, you might have buyer's remorse. You might open this up and be disappointed. Don't feel that way. I'm just letting you know you might feel that way when you get it. So I'm saying don't. Um, the gimmick looks cheap. Uh, but like I said, it's still there's still some powerful magic you can do with it. The true negatives to this, the true negatives to this are the gimmick itself has visual clues that give away its construction. So you will have to be wary of your angles, wary of how you hold the gimmick, and wary of the lighting in the situation, all right? They do cover that on the DVD, and so I would encourage you to focus on those parts so that you can get the most out of the Trojan Horse and be able to perform this with confidence. Is it worth your money? Absolutely. This is only 25 bucks. 25 bucks and you get a 48 minute DVD that goes over all the ins and outs and allows you to build your own gimmick and visual gimmick that's already constructed. $25 is a drop in the bucket. You should go and add it to your shopping cart right now. All right, so who would like this? People who are card workers already, people who wanna pull off some really skilled magic tricks but you don't have time to learn all those fancy slights, I think would definitely love Trojan Horse from Stephen Himmel. All right, so that is my review for the Trojan Horse. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.